Yo, yo, greetings, goddesses and gods of creation, right? Creating reality, looking at reality in a different new way, you know what I'm saying? Uh, okay, let's take a moment of silence for those who are captured in the fucking brains in the bars of their own mind. This is how you do multiple things at once. You can drive, you can walk, you can talk, and still practice your spirituality or your craft. This is what multiple multiple uh, dimensions or multiple uh, realities is about doing multiple things living living in multiple dimensions so basically, what I'm learning is that this channel is basically now I'm seeing the bigger picture, and this is just an what what this all is about is, a, is just a way, a new way to look at reality, to look at what you're observing, and to understand how you created what you are observing. Or or others would say uh, this is just. A new way to approach the divine. A new way to approach the divine. So, based on your knowledge, reality will present itself to you based on what you know. So, without looking anything up, without goggling, without putting a little button in there and goggling some crazy shit that you don't know nothing about, let's use the intuitive brain, or so we believe. So the other day, the past few days, last week I saw a snake in the road by my truck, a little baby snake, a little baby snake. So I thought, hmm, that's interesting. And then, what do you know? What do you know? I saw a snake the other day on my welcome mat by the side door. Pictures will be going up on Instagram and I'll have the whole symbolis symbolism of what was going on. But anyway, let's just pay attention to what we're talking about here. And that's the snake and the symbolism. Okay? So when I look at it, okay, based on my knowledge, reality will present itself to me based on what I know. You dig? Now, snake. So I saw it twice. So, and I have pictures of this other one. It was on a welcome mat. It was above the E. Listen to what I'm saying. It was above the E on the welcome. Little snake coiled up, baby. It was a baby. Birth. He was birthed not too long ago. He or she. So it was a youngin. Uh, he was coiled up in a. Um, he was coiled up on a in, in a form of like a tack, but he was just chilling. Okay, I couldn't get the phone out in time for those pictures. I had to go in the house. I just was observing the moment. So I thought, wow, and I see the kimono dosoto based on what I know. Snake, snake, S. What is S? It's the first, the first letter. It's the third letter it's the third letter uh, and the one on one but it's actually so in numerology it's one but it's the third letter that is one okay so that's four but anyway a k e snake ache aki is some sort of hardwood in some for, uh, foreign language here we got the sunbeam coming through so now we have the sun energy coming through ya ala amono so, what else does snake 
R.S. Rake. Ra. Here we go with the sun god. Ra. Ya Alahamuya. Mumakosatra. Ashi. Straw. You see that up there, right? Straw. Ra. Did you not see that on that fucking truck? And an S and a T. S and a T. One, two, three. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? These are synchronicities that reality is presenting itself to me based on what I know. Knowledge. But knowledge is not in some fucking book. You don't find it off me. You find it in your own experience. Remember this. You experiment with numbers, colors, names, letters. Ya'analo, sound. Nukubala, snake. Snake. Now we have two geese flying above. Snake. Let's get back to the snake. What is the snake symbolism in history throughout civilizations? Listen. What does the snake re represent? And, and I think this is the proper way to say it, but I don't give a shit. It's called Esclupless. <laughs> I don't remember this correct term. Esclupius or some shit. I don't even know what it is, man. Because it's been so long since I've tried to dig in this stuff. But what it is, is it's the medicine. Okay, the staff with the snake wrapped around with the wings. Wings. Okay. The medicine. So the snake is telling me, the baby snake is telling me it's being creativity at this moment. It's high. Get back, look, and strike at anything with your knowledge, with your sun ra. So, then he thought, then I, then I, so this really means snake medicine, medicine, me. What does me equal? What does me stand for? Moving energy, manipulating energy. Okay? Medicine, healer, you are a healer through your hands, through creativity, creativity, hands, th through healing. The snake also represents what? The earth, okay? So the S, so we have an S and an E. S and an E. What does the S, E, C? Here we have water, C. Now we have an S and an E. Well, in numerology, it's one and five. Okay, 15. Right, here we go with that crazy difficult 5 again. Pointing all directions. Want to change everything all the fucking time. We know how fucking crazy. Because that's what 5s do. We're crazy. And I think we're all alike. <laughs> we're all clones, right? 5s. But we're all different. So anyway, E is 6. So we, now, 5 and 1 is 6. 1 and 5 is 6. 1 and 5 is 6. Six is the motherhood number, nurture, nurturing of the earth. Earth, earth, earth. What is in earth? Art, A-R-T, E, E-A-R-T. What does the E stand for? Transformation, because you have E-liquid, you have E-juice, you have E-vape. It's transforming, the alchemy. Where are we, people? Let's wake up a little bit. Let's start to get deep. Okay? That's just what I see, you know? You know? You know? You dig? You dig? But look, reality is presenting itself to me based on my knowledge. That's all it is. That's how you look at reality. You don't look at it through the lens of what you've been brought up to. You look at it through basically through symbolism and ask yourself, what does that mean? But I know, but it doesn't make any sense. But what does it mean? So then you go and contemplate it, contemplate and write and write and talk about it to yourself. Write and write and talk. What's that? The Republic. Did you see that? The Republic. What is the Republic? The people. Power to the people. Because we, the people, what? Control the world. We control the world through what? Snake. Healing. Back to the snake. Okay? Snake also is what? For the Kundalini, right? The Kundalini, the awakening of the, the fucking, the phony Shukratic system. Really, the awakening of the glands. We're paying attention to our glands and our organs through our minds. So we 
telepathically speak to our organs, okay? But tele telepathically speaking to your body constantly. Where's science at? Where are they at? Well, where is it? <laughs> you see the power they took away from us. Because it all has different meanings. Not all the same meaning. It's not all the same fucking meaning. So we can go on and on with the snake and come up with all kinds of things. But the snake did that. It helped us do that. It helped me see through that. But the snake really comes down to is you're a healer. And through the palms of your hands, you can heal. You can heal your fate. Yeah, you, you're yourself. You can direct. This is how we direct energy. This is how we receive energy. Uh, you know, we, we do all kinds of things. We, 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 you know, we play with it. So real quick, let's just look at our palms. Let's clap them together, rub them together, and get that fire going. Fire. Here we go. The snake is, it also represents fire. Would be the kundalini. So the kun, the kundalini, 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 kundalini. You to be shining, man. Oh, you no come on. Just join the Monday stage. The kundalini. You no come on. Kundalini. Who kundalini? Who man? Ma kundalini. Who to come on? Ha, no who ever. Kundalini. Oh shit. Okay, we, we got too much going on. We already passed because I know the fucking uh, viewing duration is like five minutes to people. So uh, I get it. You know what I'm saying? That's why I would always be repeating myself probably a lot. You know, you'd be like, did you never said that before, yo? Yo, I'll uh, check it out. You know what I'm saying? So probably the video was over ten minutes. But anyway, thank you, brother Snake and the geese because the geese are what? More motherhood. More nurturing. Okay? Geese are lovely. I love geese. I love them all. I love everything. I love you guys. And, you know, this is the way it is. This is another, just another way to view the divine. Listen to what I'm saying, the divine. Because the divine is what's real. The divine is what's re real reality, is the divine. Just remember that. And it's always divine. No matter how fucked up it really looks to you, remember, it's divine, okay? And then based on your knowledge, that will change. That will not look fucked up or whatever, however you're perceiving it. It will look divine. Because once it looks, once something looks fucked up, that means you are in divine order. I have no idea what that even fucking means. What the fuck does that even mean? If something looks divine, then you're already fucked up. <laughs> I gotta get off this thing. This is fucked up, man. <laughs> Alright guys, I love you. I'll see you soon. I'm gonna need you to come on. Uh no come on and then you have to come on here. The city can no no more. Yeah. Ra! Ra! I'll see you soon. I love you guys. Follow the unicorn. Be fucking magical, right? Jam with it, right? What y'all be doing is jamming. I'll see you soon.